Hello and welcome back to Undertale. Last time we met Undyne, and by met I mean saw through some bushes. We were in some bushes and we looked at Undyne. And she looked back at us and it was terrifying. And she's apparently struck a deal with Papyrus to betray us as well, which is just amazing. Always the best. Anyway, now we need to find our way forwards. What do we got here? If an error is made, the bell blossom can call the bridge seeds back to where they started. Oh, very nice. Let's put a bridge seed right here. And one right here. That didn't form a bridge? What in the heck? Why did that not form a bridge? Come on. It's touching ground. Oh, my word. Does it have to be four in a row? Is that a thing? Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do about getting to this sign, which may be of quite a bit of interest. Let's see. Bring the bridge seeds, gaze at the sign. That is the goal at this current moment. Who knows what sort of sign it could be. It could be a sign um, advertising soap. Wouldn't that be amazing? We can't read the sign from this side. Dang it! Good lord, we can't read the sign from this side. We need to go read the sign from the other side. Good lord, of course you can't. I mean, if you're behind something, you can't really read what's on the front, can you? It's just logical, mate. Come on, put your brain to it. Fortunately, my brain wasn't to it. Quite unfortunate indeed. There we go. What do you got for me? Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. Oh, you little disgusting prick. I'm gonna burn your house down and feast upon your soul. Oh, that was, that was evil, mate. That was evil. So we need four in a row, I think. I think that is the goal. So, how do we do that? Do we then go like this? Oh yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you do it, son. Bada boom, and we're across. Eat it, puzzle. Ooh, what? Ring, ring, who could it be? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got to yours. Papyrus, why did you spend so much time doing that? Good lord. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? At this point, Barthu, I think it's the best idea that you throw your phone in the river and run, because Papyrus is getting weird. I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? No, I'm not wearing a bandana, you little bugger. So you aren't wearing a bandana? Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. Maybe I should have lied. That probably would have helped us out in some way. But now uh, she knows we are wearing a bandana. Oh, look, we got some whisper flowers. What do we got? A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Well, I mean, they're close enough, right? Wishing room. Interesting. Uh-oh, who do we got? Oh, look at that dude! What the heck is it? What, what, what is it? It's like, th there's a little duck. There's some water and there's a face. It's a washwa. I don't understand. It's some sort of marvelous creature. What is it? This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Rubber dub dubs Oh, he's a sentient bathtub, isn't he? Oh my word. I never thought I'd be fighting a sentient bathtub. Looking for some good, clean fun. Let's touch it. 
you reach out. Washu recoils from your touch. Yuck! Oh yeah, we're totally covered in germs right now, aren't we? Oh, good lord! Oh, you're not gonna get us, Washu. Not gonna get us! Is friends with a little bird. Oh, yes he is. Look at the little bird there. Let's clean ourselves. You ask Washu to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Does it? I mean, do we have to be green? Oh. I missed. Washu was rinsing off a pizza. We need to get hit by the green stuff. I get it. We need to ask it to clean us again. Come on. Clean me up, Washu. Why don't you only shoot green things? That would be helpful. Ah. Oh. No, we got one. Washu is looking for some good, clean fun. Let's touch Washu. You give Washu a friendly pat. Fresh! Aw, oh, good on you, Washu. Good on you. Washu is friends with a little bird. Well, we've gotten to the point where we can mercy Washu. Goodbye, Washu. You're a glorious creature. I can't even begin to understand how glorious of a creature you are. There you go. Goodbye, Washu. Goodbye. What do we got here? Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Can't prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. You won't! I'll make certain of it. I'll kill every single one of you. Look through the telescope, of course. Um, It's a pretty uneventful uh, view there, eh? Pretty, just a bunch of shining stones. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Yes, because, mate, um, those aren't stars. What the heck? Oh, I see. It's a hidden wall situation. Of course it's a hidden wall situation. What do we got here? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Our soul! Woo! But humans have one weakness, ironically. It is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. So that's what Undyne wants the souls for, I get it. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. It's totally one of the demons with a human soul. Now we know why Undyne wants to capture us. She wants to become a ter- We're trapped. We're trapped. No, we're trapped. Oh, good lord. Um, yep, this seemed like the kind of place where we meet Undyne. Hey, mate. Oh, good- What the heck? Undyne, buzz off! Oh, my word! No, run! Undyne's after us! She wants to become a mutant! Oh, good lord. How are you supposed to dodge something like that? That's ridiculous. Oh, my word! No, 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 don't kill me, please! Please, I want to live! No reason to kill me. I'm, I'm a perfectly reasonable person. Ah! Oh. Ah! No, Undyne! Please! Leave me be! I'm hiding in some bushes. Is that good enough? Have we made our escape? Ha <laughs> ha! You can't hide in bushes. Look at you, you're too tall and you're wearing plate armor. Uh oh. Did you. Ha ha! You got him! Oh, look at him! Uh oh! You got the nematode creature! <gasps> oh! You didn't get us! Eat it, Undyne! Eat it! She thought that we were the nematode creature. Oh my lord. That was a close one. Had we been the nematode creature, we would be dead right now. Luckily, we're not a nematode. Hmm. 
Oh, oh, hey, nematode creature. How are you? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. Ah, I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Dude. I don't want to see her again. Undyne is trying to kill me. What the heck is that? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Oh, the mouse. Squeak. Oh. Oh, the flower's got the squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical creature. Crystal. It fills you with determination. Look, given that the previous mouse couldn't even get the cheese off the table, I doubt this mouse is going to get it out of a crystal. Come on. How powerful do you think that mouse is? It might be the mouse most powerful creature in the world, actually, quite frankly. What's up, mate? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll check out the telescope. What the heck? What? What is that, Sans? Ah, you want Sans? Oh wow, that was that was a really loud, huh? So sorry. Oh my lord, it make it makes me want to die. Actually, don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Oh, I hate you, Sans. What the heck, Sans? What did you do, you little prick, Sans? Look at what Sans did. Oh, he's got a ring. He put a ring around her eyes. It was a prank. Oh, you disgust. What are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Well, in a sense, yeah. I mean, I'm the star of this game, but outside of that, not really. Wow, look at this place. This place is nice. Oh, look, a duck. 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 Come to me, duck. Duck. You're going to be my companion for the rest of my life! No, duck! Du we have to find that duck. We have to find that duck. We need to get to that duck. We need that duck as our companion. That duck will be the dog meat of um, our expeditions. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Let's see. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I imagine... It can't be the worst wish. I mean, I'm sure Papyrus could come up with a worse wish than that dude could. Oh, what do we got here? Mold Smalls for the win! Oh, my word. Right. We can just immediately just say goodbye to them. I believe flirting with Mold Smalls is, however, a great move. You wiggle your hips. Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Sexy wiggle. You and your sexy wiggles. Mold Smalls. It waits pensively. I shall spare you, Mold Smalls. You're amazing creatures. Goodbye, Mold Smalls. I guess this is the home of the Mold Small. Ooh, look. What do we got here? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yeah, sure, why not? Got the ballet shoes. Can we put on the ballet shoes? What's this all about? Info, ballet shoes, weapon attack seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. That's kind of weird. You equip ballet shoes. We now wear ballet shoes. Very good, very good indeed. So then what's down here? Oh, we got another call, Papyrus. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, uh, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very, um, murdery. I know it's Undyne Papyrus. I'm well aware of that. Ugh. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a bandana, so of course I actually told her you were indeed wearing a bandana. 
It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie, but since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. I hate to be that guy, Papyrus, but she already attacked me. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Papyrus, you can't be friends with everyone. There's some people you just have to put down, like you, but that's secondary. You don't need to put yourself down. Oh no, Washu and A.A. Ron. Oh my word, Washu! Why are you with A.A. Ron? We're gonna have to flex our way out of A.A. Ron's battle. It's not going to be particularly easy given that Washu happens to also be here at the same time. Okay, A.A. Ron is ready for the next flex. We're gonna need to flex again and take cover because this is gonna be pretty difficult. Oh no, it's the soap! It's the hope soap! Or is that the nope soap? I can't tell. Okay, he's ready for the next flex. Is this the flex that we need to uh, make him flex away? Okay, he flexed himself out of the room. Your soul is unclean. Oh, wash you. Don't be that guy. Ow, good lord. Washu, I'm going to ask you to clean me. Washu, you ask Washu to clean, he hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Come on, get it. Ah. Washu is looking for some good, clean fun. And now we can mercy Washu. Get out of here, Washu. I'm serious. Good lord. Washu is a dangerous beast. What do we got? Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Oh, you probably will end up laughing. It's probably pretty bad. Usually when people say it's bad, it is actually pretty bad. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, it sounds... What? Is that a little tentacle there? Got another little tentacle there. Is there a leviathan down there? Oh, good lord. Oh, no! It's a kawaii leviathan! Hey there! Noticed you were here! <gasps> I'm Onion-san! Onion-san, you here? Oh, good lord. It's terrifying. Can we just... leave? Oh, good lord. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here. You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Oh, good lord. Leave me alone! Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I... I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Onion-san, don't be depressing, Onion-san. Leave me alone. And the aquarium's full a anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Buzz off. <laughs> hey, there, that... That's the end of this room. Uh, I'll see you around. Have a, have a good time. In the waterfall! Oh, I don't like that thing. I don't like it. Some sort of terrible beast. Oh, what do we got? What the heck is that? Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encountered you anyways. What is that thing? Let's check it. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Oh, a shy siren. Oh, look. Some musical notes. Siren taps a little beat with her fins. Um, let's hum. You hum a funky tune. Siren follows your melody. Um, should we be doing this? Oh, good lord. It's singing. It's singing, and it's dangerous. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Let's conduct. Whoosh! You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. 
Ah, ha, ha. Oh, it's a pun. Good on ya. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Any chance we can smile and make her feel better? You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile, too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner, a Aaron nods his head approvingly. A Aaron, what are you doing here? Buzz off, A Aaron. Jeez. Oh, I'm just gonna mercy you. Get out. A Aaron was not supposed to be in the corner. I don't even know. The northern room hides a great treasure. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. No more boss monsters, I see. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. Well, what the heck is up with that one tile? I don't know. That That's a different tile from all the rest. It's probably something important. Anyway, um, as I was going to say, that brings us to the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we shall go up yonder where there is apparently great treasure waiting for us, or it might just be death. Probably death. But until then, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>